Hey everybody, welcome back to Mother 3, this is Tilla Pasta. Alright, in this part we're going to go up this kind of a building, I guess you could say, even though it's outdoors. I don't really know what it's called, and this is a screw loose. It's a very weak enemy, and it's actually recommended you fight a bunch of these if you're at a low level. It basically, just be at a level I'm around at this point if you want to have a chance to do this upcoming boss. And it's gone, see? I don't really know what its weakness is, but you don't really need to use any PK moves. Just attack it a few times and it'll be gone. And let's go up with invincibility flame frames. I can't talk right. And skipping fights. I'm an idiot and I accidentally run into this fight. And you know what's actually harder to avoid fights? The more people you have in your party. I mean, I bet you figured that out on your own if you're playing the game, but... I, I, I noticed that because <laughs> the one because it takes forever to move like you see how long it takes Bonnie to move watch it he'll go all the way to where Lucas was just standing anyways go around this room don't get that present right there because it will attack you and it's a really tough mini boss all right so don't get the present and the little like robot walking around in this room I mean you can fight it, so don't f don't mess with it. <laughs> it's another really tough mini boss. Now there's a save, there's like a washing place and a save pool. Ah, I said that was wrong. A saving place and a washing pool. I mean a health pool, whatever it's called. So if you want to do the fights, you can. I just didn't do them because they take a lot of time. And I really want to get this Let's Play done so I can get my next Let's Play, which is going to be a really, really fun. I've already got everything set up for it. I've got Fire Red to work on, and when I'm done with both of them, I'm going to start, and it's going to be fun, my fifth Let's Play. But heck, we got to finish the third one first, even we'll worry about the fifth and the fourth, so what am I talking about? Anyways, now that we're up here, Kumatora got a fever, so, oh, never mind, it went away. PK Fire! Anyways, go this way. Don't run into these yellow things, even though I do, because I suck at life. Anyways, it's a short circuit zap. It's basically a lightning bolt that got shot off with a face. Use PK Freeze, I believe, is what you should be using. Yeah, that's what I do use. Alright, sorry about the little interruption. My little brother is weird. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to bring it up much. Anyways, PK Freeze is like 200 something damage. So just use that. Kill it, and you are done. This is another enemy you want might want to fight a bunch of times. You know, it's a little more difficult to beat, but heck, I don't even care. Let's read this sign. Beware of electrical discharges. Hmm, that would have been nice earlier. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, that, that was completely fair. That's That was completely fair, because it was so really close to us. Why am I showing this fight on camera? I guess you could say camera. There it goes. I don't show that fight on camera. I'm smarter than that. I'm so smart. Anyways, as you try to leave, <laughs> my dog's laying down. <laughs> I was petting him. I'm in my chair and I pet my dog, and he lays down, and I'm pet Ruben's belly. He was a good dog. Another cut right there. Um, another thing I might want to talk to you guys about is: Am I too quiet? I'm actually talking pretty loudly into this mic just normal speaking sound dang it another stupid bolt anyways but when I watch my videos on YouTube they were so quiet but I don't know what to do I've got the volume here I, I don't know if that does that do anything you guys if it does I'll probably be able to notice but hope maybe that'll help I just raised the Windows Movie Maker input level thing so Maybe it helped, maybe it ruined the video. Let's find out. Anyways, as you come over here, we got a very, very tough boss that took me many tries to beat. Although, might take you guys one try. I don't know, I kind of suck with these end of chapter bosses. It's a robot thing. It's basically the pig mass defensive mechanism thing. It's weak to PK Thunder, but believe me, you don't want to use PK Thunder. Use it two times. And then don't use it any. Actually, it might be three. 
but use it like twice, okay? It's it's okay to use, but if you use it like three, four times, four, five, I don't know how many it is, but it will just kill you easily. Because it'll like short circuit and just use hugely strong attacks. Or is it ice? I think it's I think it's lightning. Anyways. Yeah, how does a robot cry? I thought they don't have feelings. Wasn't that the whole point of robot? I'm dumb. Anyways, you might want to... This is really tough. Like, it hits you. So use shield alpha or whatever it's called with Lucas. And then, dang, he did one hit on me and I'm still going down. I don't think I got... Yeah, I, I live. But, dang. That just shows how strong this thing hits. So, if you can, have Boney or Duster, preferably Boney, be your designated healer. Because there's not much he can do. And don't attack it with a normal hit. Because it will attack you back with more. Wait. Is that this guy I'm thinking of? Am I thinking of the right guy? Yeah, this might be him. If you attack him back, he will hit you back. I think this is the right enemy. Might not be. I know there's a boss where if you attack it, it'll attack you back with more damage. But that's why I'm guarding with Boney a bunch of times. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, Pickled Veggie. That was a waste of a move right there. PK Freeze! 145. I think this thing has over, like, 2,000 HP, so... If this game was at all, like, Pokemon, maybe, I would be able to see its HP bar, but no. This is Mother 3. It's not that simple. It's just attack and attack and attack and attack and hopefully you live. <laughs> Anyways, you don't want to use recovery items with Lucas. I'm an idiot for doing this. Don't do it. Have Kumatora do it. Kumatora has much, much more HP and her PK strong moves don't take up as much. Because even by this time, if you're lucky, you might have PK the fire, or ice, or, or freeze, or thunder, the stronger ones. But even they don't take as much. Okay. Never mind. I guess this, you can't attack this thing. It just... Never mind. I'm just stupid. We're healing up right now because everyone's about to die. Hopefully Boney doesn't die even though he probably is. It's weird. When they're about to die, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, go through the buttons. Click, click, click. Fast, fast, fast. And I don't really think at all. And Boney lived with nine. <laughs> so I could have used a PK move with Kumatora. But I'm, I was freaking out. So I was going to try to get to Boney and use a healing move. But that didn't work. Dang it. Anyways. I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm just attacking and healing and healing. And this is the best time to heal. And set up defense things. Maybe lower its attack. But it's also a really good time just to wail on it. Because this is the best... <laughs> Yeah, it's always the best time to attack you when it can't attack you back. That's why I look at it. It's, but the one problem is, while it's like this, it will heal up 100 HP every single few turns or turn. One of the two. Every it's either every single turn or every single few turns. But that's why it's incredibly annoying. So PK freeze. Hmm. I guess while we are just doing this same exact thing over and over again, I can talk to you guys about what I was doing, why I didn't upload for the past four days. I was at a basketball tournament, and I'm not going to give out the exact whereabouts of the tournament, because I like keeping that stuff secret about who I am, but we did do pretty good, We and it, the place we were at had a blizzard. It, it's in Arizona, I can tell you that much, I guess, but the place we were at had a big old blizzard. Got two feet of snow on the ground, and our car, like our bus team van, like couldn't get out of the parking lot of the hotel. We had to shovel out and do all this stuff just to get anywhere, and it was snowing so hard. And I'm from a place where it's desert, and it doesn't snow ever. It doesn't even get that cold. Right now, it's about 40 degrees. Now. That's the coldest it's been all year, really. <laughs> so it's it's really weird. It was a really weird experience to be in that cold of weather when I'm used to seven. It was 70 degrees on Christmas, and then, yeah, that that just shows you how. It, well, actually, more than 70. But dang, that just shows you where I live. It's hot, and I'm not. I don't like that cold very much. I don't like it. I thought snow was pretty cool. You know, the first time I was coming down, I'm like, oh look, it's snowing. 
well, all our team was outside looking at the snow. And, like, after a day, we're like, it's cold. Too much snow. And it was it was bad. <laughs> uh, we did pretty good in the tournament. I'm a freshman who starts on the varsity basketball team. I'm not going to tell you the school name because I don't want to. But there you go. That's a little information on me. My little fun fact you might not know. So now we can get back to this. I don't want to get back to this battle. That's a really long battle. If you, in case you can't tell, this is a 20 minute video. 20 minute video. Not necessarily a 20 minute battle, but a 20 minute video. So we, you, Boney died. I wasn't gonna pay attention, but Boney just died. So this giant robot killed my dog. Now it's personal. Anyways, I'm just gonna PK love the heck out of this thing. Gates or Duster? Why do I call him Gates? In the previous Let's Play, I named him Gates. For some odd reason, I was thinking Bill Gates at the time. Why did Why did I do that? But yeah, his name's Duster. So Duster just attacks. PK love attacks. He heals. You know him healing himself a hundred times, hundred HP every single move really brings your spirit down. You're like yes, hundred sixty damage, and then he heals a hundred of back. It's like dang it. All I did was like 50, 60 damage. PK life, PK life up. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I was just mimicking the Super Smash Bros. voice, and now my cat is crawling on me. So all the animals missed me. Aw, you're a good kitty. Can you hear the cat purr? Probably can't, but he's purring. Him's on my lap. Him's a really small cat. If there could be such thing as a dwarf cat, this would be my cat at the dwarf. <laughs> he's a really small boy cat. But I love him, because we've had him since he was a kitten. Him's good. Him's a good kitty. His name is Max. He's orange, and I'm just rambling on right now, not even really talking about the game. I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. Because the cat fur is everywhere. <laughs> Aw. Good kitty. Oh, yeah. Another thing you might want to do is... I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but there's an item I equipped to Lucas a while back that will always, like, kill two or three or four or something like that HP every single turn. Do that for this battle. It'll save you a bunch of times from death. It's really smart to do. Ah, great. Now Lucas is about to die. Or he's about to run out at PK... Which is basically he's about to die. Oh, did I just try to run? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I don't even remember doing that. Dang, I'm an idiot. Don't do that. Don't try to run. Why was I trying to guard? Attack it. Am I an idiot? <laughs> PK freeze. I don't know what that started. I think it's alpha. Ew. 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 That's disgusting, kitty. Disgusting. No, no, no. Your tank goes out on my cord. No. Okay. Okay. We're all good. We're all good now. I just moved my cat. I don't know if it's... Nor I keep on hitting my mic. Okay. Maybe this is better. Sorry about all that noise. I don't know if it's normal. I bet it is, but kind of weird. It, it's gross. When your cat, like, really gets all lovey-dovey or, like, mucus out of its nose or water or whatever. And that's just disgusting. And I had to, I had to take him off. Because he was getting on my clothes and I can't have that. My little dog, who's like a Chihuahua Lab. I don't know if I've talked about her before. Really weird mix. And my cat, they just, they don't get along very well. <laughs> okay, I think this is too loud. Because when I like breathe into it sometimes, I can hear it. The mic. Now my cat's trying to get back on my lap because him loves me. So let's just get back to the, dang, six more minutes to go. I'm out of things to talk about. I am literally out of things to talk about. Until this fight's over, I got nothing. But I will never speed up the f the boss battles. Never. I don't even speed up regular battles. Well, actually, I do off camera. I just click space bar and go fight, 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 done. But yeah, this is a good kitty. PK free, and I think this kills it. Ah, uh, I was wrong. Kill it. That was it. Just took 64 more damage. And you get it from 1 to 64 more damage, and I killed it. Lucas and company earned 4,389 experience. Everyone, I can almost promise you, will gain a level. 
but they have to be alive, probably. <laughs> kind of like in Pokemon, where even if he does most of the fight for you, and he dies at the end, the guy who only was in there for, like, one turn gets the, all the experience. Not very fair. Oh, cat, you're weird. Ew, stop that. There we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we broke your alarm system, oh my gosh. Why is Facade in charge of these guys? I've always wondered that. Why, do they respect him? What does he do? Hmm, I guess this, oh, I can't read that. <laughs> his laughter is like needles on a chalkboard. And now we are going to go stand on a giant ball. Because, oh, now a great time to fill fever, Stimador. And now time for some epic cutscenes. This is Facade. He's going to come up here and push us off the edge and kill us, and the game will be over. So, you guys, thank you for watching my Let's Play. Just kidding. Why would that be the end of the game? Too sad of an ending. So, he's going to talk all bad. Like, oh, yeah, I'm on top of a giant circle. I've got people inside who are going to kill you. I snap my fingers. I'm so cool. I'm going to eat a banana real quick because I'm cool. That cloud is going so fast in the background. It's kind of cool. There it is again. Wow. How does it do that? So, talking on his little walkie-talkie. And now he's going to tell us that the Thunder Tower, which is what we've been in, is no longer usable, so we might as well just explode it. So, facade. You might want to get off the building if you're going to explode it. Quick little hint. Now, we don't know what to do. Oh, crap. We've got no clue where to go, but there is a giant blimp, I guess it is. You can't really see the top. Don't know if it's a helicopter. Probably a blimp. Hop oh, looks like my ride is here later, whatever that last word was. And then he does the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. And notice the banana peel. Pay attention very closely. Well, Lucas, we haven't known each other for long, but it's been fun. I'll never forget you about. I'll never forget about you guys. Nui he he he. Nui he 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 he. What an idiot! Don't fall on your own banana. And he falls to his death. Or does he? Dun dun dun. That was foreshadowing for those of you who fail English. So we're going to try to hop up on this rope because he doesn't realize, oh crap, what just happened. So they can't go very fast because they're in a blimp. And we can jump really f Well, we got a rope snake. But, how... Uh, dang, we're going fast for a blimp. I've actually never been in a blimp. I've seen one in real life, so I don't actually know how fast they go. But we are going to keep going and then eventually hold on tight now. It's me, Rope Sake. I know this isn't the best time to chat, but I've got some bad news for you. The good news for me is that although we haven't known each other for long, I'm the major character in this story. Thank you. And the bad news is for you is I can't read as fast. But the one thing is he can't hold three people and a dog with just his jaw. So, he's gonna have to let go, and they're all gonna die. So, I guess this is the end of Mother 3, so goodbye you guys, thank you for watching my Let's Play. Just kidding, again. There's more to come. I don't even know what that guy is, I haven't been far enough in the game yet. I, I'm really far, I'm really, really far, and I haven't even played the game in several, about a week. Hmm, I'm stupid. Another time watching, Ch another time watching Choco Conway on screen. Anyways. Moving puppets made from clumps of earth, the tower that can fire thunderbolts on demand, an extensive highway system, ships that fly through the sky, the enemy that Lucas and his companions must stand up against has grown to such enormous scale, do they even stand a chance against this vile and the powerful nemesis? No common sense must be ignored in a situation like this. Even if there is only one in a billion chance to victory, that means there is also one in a billion chance opportunity to turn the tables completely. Will Lucas, Kumator, and Duster be separated once again, or will they work together to overcome the obstacles that stand in their way? For the flying ship, a masked man looks down upon Lucas and friends. This, his profile is still very useful. It's hard to read this much. The tale now moves to its next chapter, and with, and it with almost an almost certain promise of battles far more intense than ever before. Ha! That thing's lying. The next chapter is not as intense. 
anyways comment rate subscribe you guys and I will see you guys later thank you for watching my 20 minute video of nothingness bye bye